Namaste to all mamas and babies. I'm Leo Cherry. This is baby Emily. I've been waiting for this moment for so, so, so long to get back to shoot mommy and baby yoga videos again. Baby Emily is six weeks old. I'm six weeks postpartum and it's a good time to get back to shape mamas. We're so thrilled to welcome you to new series of mommy and baby yoga. I personally love, love, love practicing with my little ones as it creates deeper connection between us and also no excuses approach. This is a great class for any mama who is getting back to shape after having a baby. We will go and stretch all the tight corners in our body. We will work on gaining our strength back, healing our pelvic floor, diastasis recti, and overall just to feel good in our own body, in our own skin. So we can be happier mamas to our little ones, our family, and to the world. Before beginning any exercise, make sure you consult your physician. Also, always listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right or good for you, skip it, back off, or just modify it to your own needs. Now for this class, you will need a pillow, your sweet baby, a few blankets around you so you can easily put your little one whenever you need. Make sure your little one is fed well nice and dry and with that being said let's begin and have some fun We will begin our practice and extend the child's pose. Place your little ones in front of you pillow next to you coming into a kneeling position spread the knees as wide as feels comfortable big toes to touch and begin to sink your sitting bones onto the heels reach the arms long out in front of you so you can touch your little ones give them a little tickle 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 so they know you are with them and then go ahead and place your forehead on your mat close your eyes for a moment Take a deep, long breath in and open mouth, exhale, side out. Seal your lips, begin to breathe gently in and out through your nose. Tickling your baby as you're breathing. Try to sink your sitting bones closer down the heels, finding a little bit more length through the spine. And of course, if you need to pick up your head and just give your baby a pussy or whatever they need, do so. From very this moment, letting go of any perfection, any expectations, and just being fully present in the moment with your little one, your breath in your body. Big breath in. Big breath out. Lift your gaze, make your way to all fours, tabletop position. Let's make eye contact with our little ones. Hey, Emily. Hi. Stack the shoulders on top of your wrists, hips on top of your knees. A few cycles of cat-cow to warm up the spine. Inhale, dip the belly, bring the gaze up. Maybe even make it a moo sound to entertain your little one. And then push the earth away, curl the tail under, chin to chest, round the upper back. Meow. Inhale, cow. Moo. Exhale, cat. Meow. And just begin to move with your breath as fast or as slow as your body wants to move today. Each day our practice will be completely different, so make sure you're tuning inward and listening to your own needs. If it feels good, maybe wiggle your tail a little bit side to side. 
Iya, yeah, hi sweet girl. Iya. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take one more full cycle. Inhale. Exhale. Come back into neutral spine, turbo dog. Extend the right arm in front of you, thumb facing up. And extend the left leg back behind you, toes facing down. Reach back through the heel, reach forward through the fingers. Inhale. Exhale, place everything down. Extend the left arm in front of you, thumb facing up. Right leg back behind you. Stretch back, reach forward. Inhale. Exhale down. And then let's switch. Inhale to extend. Exhale down. Inhale, extend. Exhale down. And move with your breath. Inhale. Hi. <laughs> Exhale, thank you for your smiles. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, place down. Inhale, reach, extend. Exhale, down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, down. Beautiful. Take the pillow. Place it between your inner thighs. Back to tabletop. And now we're only gonna squeeze the pillow with our knees and inner thighs. Just squeeze, Agu, squeeze, squeeze. Are you helping mommy? Agu, squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Can you count with me? 5, 4, 3, two and one now squeeze and hold squeeze 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 five four three two and one release put the pillow in front of you back to tabletop inhale reach the right arm up exhale thread the needle right arm underneath your left drop the right shoulder down extend the left arm in front of you so you can touch your little one see how it feels here make any adjustments that you need maybe extend the left leg back behind you to open up your left shoulder a little bit more breathe in breathe out breathe in and out slowly place the knee down push the earth away make your way back up into table inhale reach your left arm up to the sky exhale thread the needle extend the right arm in front of you notice how it feels and if it feels good to extend the right leg all the way back behind you to get deeper into that shoulder stretch Keeping contact with our little ones, tickling them. Full breath in and out. One more breath here. Inhale, exhale. Place your knee down, push the earth away. Come up into a tabletop position. Go ahead, tuck your toes under. Send your sitting ones nice and high into down dog. If you want to make any adjustments, I like to walk underneath my Emily so I can keep a little eye contact with her and stretch at the same time. Begin to walk your dog, pressing one heel down to the earth and then the other one. Switching, switching. Bend the knees as much as you need to to find more length through the spine. I'm just gonna walk my dog forward, high and back. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Suck your navel in and up. Breathe to any tight areas that you feel in your body. Big breath in. And open mouth, let go of any tension or tightness. 
Now inhale, reach the right heel up high into single leg down dog. As you exhale, step the foot in between your hands. You can grab your ankle here and help yourself to bring it forward. Drop your left knee down into a low lunge. Hi, hi Emily. Bring the hands on top of your hips, push your hips forward, sinking nice and deep, feeling a nice stretch in our lift hip flexor. Keeping the hands on the hips and just find here a few bounces. Bounce forward, forward, five, four, three, two, one. Keeping baby and mommy eye contact connection. Bring your left fingers down to the mat or you can use your pillow here, place it on the pillow, reach the right arm across your ear line, lengthen out of your waist, gaze underneath your armpit, lengthen, and as you exhale, sink a little deeper and stretch your right side body. Breathe in and out. Let's take it to the other side. Place your hand down to the mat or to a pillow, lengthen out of your waist, inhale, exhale, try to sink your hips a little deeper and stretch. Full breath in, full breath out. Back to center, half split, send the hips back behind you, flex the right toes in towards your chest, find lots of length through the spine, keep your hip on top of your knee and walk your hands forward. Draw your navel in and up. So find here a few little pulses. Give your baby a few tickles. Take a breath in and out. And now come up, bring the shoulders on top of the hips, reach the arms to the side, right arm underneath your left, cross the elbows, palms to touch. Inhale, lift the elbows up and as you exhale, hinge from the hips and then fold forward, coming into shoulder stretch and at the same time opening our right hamstring. So reach the elbows forward towards your little one. You can tuck the chin to your chest. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Slowly let go. Rebend into the right knee and stay pure. Left foot next to the right. Inhale, halfway fine length. Hands can come to your shin bones or if your uh, back of the leg is pretty open so you can place them down on your mat. Give a little bit love and attention to your little one. Hi, hi. <laughs> Let go of your head and neck completely, please. The hands behind your, your head interlock all the fingers and allow the gravity to take you down as you're stretching your neck, the entire spine and the back of your legs and a little bit sway side to side. Take a breath in and out. Let go of your grip slowly, roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Tuck your tail under, slightly engage your core. Inhale, reach your arms up. Lots of energy through the fingers. And as you exhale, send the arms back behind you. Interlock all the fingers at your lower back. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades. And as you exhale, fold forward. Stretch your shoulders. If you need to open up your feet into a hip distance apart, so open up your feet a little wider and just sway side to side. Bounce, just find what feels good in your own body. Take a breath in and out. Let go of your grip, sprinkle the fingers down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Go ahead and grab your pillow, place your pillow in between the inner thighs. Chair pose, bend your knees, squat down low. Keep your fingers on the mat. This is how low I want you to sink. And then reach the arms in front of you and begin to squeeze your pillow. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, bless you, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. Give your baby a little tickle. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hold five, four, three, two, and one. Fold forward, put the pillow in front of you. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, ground your hands, step back into a plank pose. Lower down to your knees. Let's find here a little push up as we're going all the way down and bring the forearms in front of you, elbows underneath your shoulders into a swing pose. Oh, do you want to talk with me? Okay, what do you want to tell me? Do you have some story that you want to tell mommy today? Yeah? And as you're hanging here, connecting with your little ones, don't forget to breathe nice and deep. This is a beautiful pose to open up the chest, to stretch the shoulders and strengthen our lower backs. Hi, Emily. Aku. Aku. Yeah. I love it. Take a deep breath in and out. Let's come into child's pose. Knees out wide, sitting bones to your heels, big breath in. And downward facing dog as you breathe out. Take a little walk in your downward facing dog before we're gonna move onto the other side. Find stillness, inhale, sweep your left heel up high, single leg down dog. And as you exhale, begin to bring that foot right in between your hands. Help yourself if you need, grab your ankle, drop your right knee down, sink your hips forward and down, hands on top of your hips. And begin with little pulses. Pulse it up, pulse it up, forward and forward, following with our breath. Feeling that nice stretch in our right hip flexor, right, Emily? That feels so good, right? Yeah. Two more. And then find stillness. Ground your right fingers down to the mat or use your pillow. Bring the left arm across your ear line. Lengthen out of your waist. Bring the gaze skyward. Sink the hips a little bit more forward and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Make your way back to center and let's switch left fingers down, right arm across your ear line. Bring the gaze skyward, sink the hips even lower. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Fingers down to the mat, half split. Send the hips back behind you. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you for your smiles. Thank you for your smiles. Flex that left toes towards your chest, walk the hands forward and just fold. Working on bringing that left hip back, right hip forward, squaring the hips. Yeah. Focusing on the breathing. One more breath here. And then make your way up as you're bringing your shoulders over the hips. Now you have to use your core here to find that balance. T your arms, bring the left arm underneath your right, cross the elbows, palms to touch. Inhale, lift your elbows up. And as you exhale, hinge from the hips and fold forward. So we're gonna take here a nice shoulder stretch and opening our le left hamstring at the same time. Try to reach the elbows forward. Use your core here to Find your balance, big breath in, more engagement in your left toes, and out. Slowly release, rebend into that left knee, step your right foot next to the left. Grab the opposite elbows and just sway side to side, rock doll. You can tickle, tickle, tickle your baby. Tickle, 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 tickle. Peekaboo, I see you. <laughs> And then heel to your feet to touch. Soften the knees, roll up to standing one vertebra at a time. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. 
inhale reach your arms up exhale send the arms back behind you this time opposite pinky on top squeeze the shoulder blades like you're having an orange in between your shoulder blades and you're making an orange juice squeeze 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 exhale hinge from the hips fold forward into a chest expansion if you again need to open up your feet a little bit wider to find more balance do what you need to do and just sway side to side peekaboo one more breath here letting go sprinkle the fingers down give your baby a little tickle 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 peekaboo I see you. Who is that? Who is that? Is that a unicorn? Grab your pillow, place the pillow in between your inner thighs. Sink nice and deep into a chair. Squeezing that pillow, arms in front of you, palms facing each other, and begin to squeeze that pillow. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one place your fingers your hands on your little ones squeeze that pillow and just hold for five four three two and one wow good job mommy thank you and then let go of the pillow fold forward a little bit sway side to side you are right yeah ground your hands step back to plank pose lower down to your knees and let's come all the way down again onto our bellies into that swing pose finding your baby's eyes making them some funny faces raspberry <laughs> let's take a cleansing breath in open mouth side out try to bring the chest through the upper arms feel the opening in your lower back upper back in your chest bless you and then slowly making our way into child's pose stretching the lower back inhale downward facing dog exhale all right get ready to grab your babies Inhale, sweep the right heel up high, single leg down dog. Exhale, step that foot right in between the hands and go ahead and grab your little ones. Are you ready, Emily? Are you ready to do some yoga with mommy? Come on. Come on, sweetie. All right. So you're going to grab the little ones as it feels comfortable to you. Coming into a high lunge, stack your right knee on top of your right ankle and begin to drop that left knee down to the mat and lift let's go for five four three two hold your last one and pulse for five five four three two and one extend and pivot into warrior two bring your left foot parallel to the back of your mat maintain 90 degree bend in your right knee extend your right arm forward take a deep breath in and as you exhale try to sink a little bit deeper here into the lunge good now from here reverse warrior reach that right arm back behind you sink a little lower back to warrior two extend that right leg and we'll make our way into skandasana so bending your left knee as you're bringing the chest parallel to the earth now here if it's challenging and you don't feel comfortable with your little one you can place them down in front of you and then come up warrior two <sighs> inhale straighten exhale skandasana hi emily inhale up exhale warrior two inhale straighten exhale skandasana hold here pulse it up five four three two and one inhale come up warrior two sink nice and low 
inhale straighten that right leg and then step your left foot forward to the front of your mat soften the knees let's place our little ones back on their blankets give them a passy if they need and we will make our way into plank pose step back feet to touch shift the weight to the right arm pivot the feet to the right and side plank extend your left arm up to the sky if you need to modify drop down to your bottom knee and just hold here five four three lift your hips a little bit higher two and one make your way into plank pose and then come down to your forearms forearm plank feet to touch shift the way again to the right arm pivot the feet to the right again if you need to modify lower down to your bottom knee extend the left arm up hips higher and we're gonna lower the hips and lift lower and lift five you can open up your feet if you need more balance four three two and one make your way back into forearm plank lower your hips down back into swings pose hi sweet girl hi sweet girl take a breath in and out child's pose inhale downward facing dog exhale inhale reach your left heel up high single leg down dog exhale step the foot in between your hands and go ahead and grab your little ones hello hi emily coming up to standing again you're gonna grab your little ones as it feels comfortable and safe for you sink nice and deep into your lunge left ankle on top of your left knee on top of your left ankle and we will begin to dip the right knee down and lift for five four three mommy is dripping sweat two yeah one hold and pulse five four three two one inhale lift exhale let's open up into warrior two pivot the right foot parallel to the back of your mat extend the left arm forward and sink deeper into your warrior two let's take here a few deep breaths inhale do you love warrior two i love it but i also hate it because it burns my quads <laughs> full breath in and out reverse warrior reach that left arm back behind you try to sink your left knee a little bit deeper inhale exhale back to warrior two inhale straighten that left leg exhale skandasana hold your baby with both arms send the hips back bring the chest parallel to your mat inhale come up exhale back to warrior two <sighs> inhale strengthen exhale squat nice and low inhale up exhale warrior two inhale up exhale skandasana inhale up exhale warrior two <laughs> Woo! inhale up <laughs> exhale skandasana hold here pulse it up five four three two and one inhale come up let's find warrior two straighten that left leg and step the right foot forward and we will place the little ones back down to the mat <laughs> And make our way into plank pose so ground your hands step your feet back feet to touch shift the weight to your left arm pivot the feet to the left and begin to extend the right arm all the way skyward again you need to modify you're gonna lower down to your bottom knee lift your hips a little bit higher and hold here five four three two 
and one. Woo. Make your way to plank pose. Lower down to your forearms, forearm plank. Feet to touch, shift the weight to your left forearm. Let's find a forearm side plank. Extend again your right arm up for more balance and stability. Open your feet. And we're gonna dip that lift hip down and lift. Deep and lift for five, four, three, two, and one. Make your way back into forearm plank and lower your hips down. What happens, sweet girl? Swings pose. Take a moment to reconnect with your breath. Reconnect with your baby. Just breathe. Maybe even close your eyes for a moment. Full breath in and out. Make your way into child's pose. Deep long inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Walk your feet forward and have a seat. Now I will place Emily here next to me. If your baby has a good head control already, you can place them on your tummy. If not, so they're just gonna stay next to you. We will make our way into bridge pose. Take your pillow, come down to your back. Pillow in between your knees. Touch your heels with your fingers. Shoulders resting on your mat. As you inhale, lift your hips up, squeeze your pillow very hard, squeeze your glutes, and then release. Inhale, lift, exhale, squeeze, and release. Inhale up, squeeze, exhale, release. Now, if your baby has a good head control, you can place them on your belly and do the same exercise with your little one on you and let's keep moving here for 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 squeezing hard 13 12 11, 10, lift your hips higher, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, we're gonna hold in 2, Hold in one, hold your last one, and just squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10 more, 10, yes you can. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly release. Put the belly in it, put the pillow next to you, hug your knees into your chest and a little bit sway side to side. Take a breath in, open mouth, side out. Next exercise, bring your uh, shin bones parallel to the mouth, knees on top of your hips. Now I want you to place your hands underneath your lower back and press that lower back into your hands. So just keep that lower back uh, into the floor connection. Now you're gonna look, tap your right toes down to the mat and lift, lift and lift, squeezing that lower back into your hands. Now if you're gonna release your hands, you have to keep your lower back in your mat connection. So keep your hands there to help you remember to squeeze the lower back. Begin to feel the fire in your deep core. Let's go for 10, nine, moving slow and mindfully. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold here and then tap both of your toes. Ten and lift. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. You got this? Can you feel that? Four, three. I want to see fire in the comments below. Two, and one. Hold. Hug the knees into your chest. Release. Take a breath in. And out. Beautiful. Let's hug the knees into the chest. And then drop them to one side and gaze to the other side. Just a gentle supine twist. You, by the way, can use your pillow here underneath your knees for a little extra support. Close your eyes for a moment. Tune inward. Use your breath. Switch sides. Inhale. May bring your knees back to center. Exhale. Drop them to the other side. Bring the gaze to the opposite direction. Just chill here for a few breaths. Full breath in and out. Bring the knees back to center, place your feet down and then go ahead and grab your little ones and we're gonna place them on our tummy as we're gonna make our way into Shavasana. So if your baby is working on lifting the head, this will be a great practice for them to extend the heels to the corners of your mat and just relax with your little one. Focus on your breathing. Use your belly and your lungs to lift their little bodies up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Yeah, I know that you don't like it. Yeah, but we need to work those neck muscles, sweetie. You got this. Good job. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. Good job. Just breathe. You're welcome to stay in Shavasana for a little bit longer. Or if you're ready to come up, you're gonna roll onto the side. Put your little one down. Give them a passy if they need. And slowly make your way up into a comfortable seat. Place the hands on top of the knees. Sit nice and long, lengthen out of your crown. Let's fill up with gratitude for showing up for ourselves, for showing up for our little ones, for moving and breathing, and for feeling better. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, release your gratitude to the universe. Awesome job, you moms. Thank you so much for tuning in today, for practicing with us. Let us know how are you feeling after this practice. Let us know uh, with who you have been practicing today. How old is your little one? Where are you from? And also, what would you like to see more from us? We are so thrilled for this new series of Mommy and Baby Yoga. Follow us on Instagram for more inspiration and we hope to see you soon again on your mat.
practicing with us. <laughs> All right, baby Emily, can you say thank you? Can you say namaste, bye-bye, we'll see you soon. From our heart to yours, namaste. Hey, mama. I know how frustrating and intimidating it could be to get back into shape after having a baby. I'm here to help you to get the best and healthiest results possible while saving you time and having fun reaching your goals. I've created a core and pelvic floor restore club program for all moms that are trying to get rid of mommy tummy, heel weak pelvic floor, leakage, back pain, poor posture, diastasis recti, and so you can have fun with your kids jumping, running, sneezing, and laughing all without peeing your pants. Check the link in the description box or the first comment down below to find out more. Also, let's get connected on Instagram so I can inspire you to move your body more frequently so you can feel your best every single day. I look forward connecting with you. Namaste.